So here you are, your wish, our command. We are sitting with the little cubs in exactly the same place as we were. All three of them just snuggling together, which is what little lion cubs like to do. They like to snuggle. <laughs> And play and suckle. This is the most adorable stage of lion life. I'm sure if you have a small child, the thought of handing one of those things to them as they go to sleep must be extremely appealing. Because they look so cuddly. They look like they just snuggle up to whatever came near them. And they will grow so fast. And they lose this teddy bear look in about three weeks. And I know many of you now are ooing and aahing and say this is a totally or total cuteness overload. It is absolutely. Now you can sex them at this age. If they were to turn around and lift their little tails, you'd be able to do it. So we could be able to tell whether they are male or female. <laughs> Ungo's just got a small bout of tuberculosis. He's trying to get rid of. <laughs> I actually think he's just eaten some nuts, and that's why he's coughing. Ungo, if we were sitting at a concert of Mozart's 23rd Piano Concerto, it would be you that coughed halfway through the quiet section. to stay they do know to stay though and as they get older they will move around a little bit more and the mothers you'll find will have to go and look for them slightly so they'll just slowly start to explore more and more as they get a bit older but we watched last week with the older cubs when the mothers smelt something that they thought they wanted to investigate and they did something and it was totally impossible to see what it was that they did but the three cubs turned around walked in the opposite direction and went flat in the grass and the three lionesses carried on they went to investigate around a termite mound quite possibly they thought there was a warthog there there wasn't a warthog there they got onto the termite mound i think one of them made one little contact call and the cubs came back to them so how they told the little ones to go away while they hunted, I don't know. It certainly wasn't something that I was able to pick up. Fast asleep, waiting for their mother to come back. We are, of course, thanks to you lot, everybody, in a high-risk sighting situation here, simply because if they move even slightly away from us now, they will become invisible. So if their mother comes back, she's going to have to oblige us by lying just in front of them to feed them. Now we know that this pride, of course, is five lionesses, and they are protected or dominated by the two old Donyopayic males. I haven't seen any other lions in this area. And This 
Bailey we're going to have to put on the infrared, I think, fairly soon. Not just yet, but fairly soon. Just have a quick look there. It's a little lioness. It's almost certainly a little lioness. Chat Noir. I don't get paid to babysit. I get paid in the thrill of being around these little cubs. I am 99% sure that what you're looking at there is a lioness. Well, will be a lioness. So we've got one she. She's a bit paler than the other two, I think. Maybe that's how we can identify her. Oh, they are just utterly adorable, aren't they? She is a poser, Ellie. You're absolutely right. And thankfully, all three of them are quite keen on being on camera. If they weren't, they could quite easily be in the thicket and totally invisible. Lord. at up at was a slight very distant roll of thunder righty i believe that the old duke worried as we are about him he is still quite hungry right well we haven't moved the little cubbies have moved a little bit. I can hear some alarm calling birds around here. And I'm wondering if maybe we're going to have the arrival of either the other three cubs or an adult. But I don't think that's going to happen before the end of our show, I'm afraid. So you're just going to have to make do with these delightful little things on their own. I'm quite sure you don't mind in the slightest.